Let's talk Park MMA and let's talk about the Grudge Fighting Championship in specific happening on the 26th of February inside the G9 Highlanders Football Club. Ladies and gentlemen, I am so excited for this event and I'm going to be there with Salman Bhatt and Edisham Karim Shaheen on commentary duties that night. It is an incredible, incredible night of fights from top to bottom and I'm going to break down some of the fights for you here I am so happy to see events like this happen in Pakistan regularly. They're very important. A lot of our best guys are going to be getting a chance to compete on this event. So right off the bat from this video, I just want to say, please support Pakistan MMA. Hashtag Save Combat Sports. If you are in Islamabad and an MMA fan, then in my opinion, this is a فرض ہے کہ آپ یہ ایونٹ اٹینڈ کریں کہ آپ ان فائٹرز کو سپورٹ کریں اف یو کین پلیز بائی اے ٹکٹ شو اپ ٹو دی ایونٹ اینڈ میک شیور کہ آپ ایسا ماحول بنائیں وہاں پہ ایسی انرجی لائیں دیٹ پیپل ریئلی فیل لائک پاک ایم ایم اے از گوئنگ آن دی اپ ٹریجیکٹری وچ اٹ از بٹ ناؤ لیڈیز اینڈ جنٹمین لیٹس گیٹ ٹو دا ٹاپ تھری فائٹس آف گرج فائٹنگ چیمپئن شپ ہیپننگ آن دا ٹوئنٹی سکسٹ آف فیب in case you missed it i'm gonna start with the main event what else do we start with it's rizwan ali representing pakido taking on nasratullah nixat representing afghanistan this is a very very interesting international level fight in the main event of gfc rizwan ali is one of those guys that i am just so impressed with and i am not hoping i am sure that he is going to be one of the next big fighters coming out of pakistan moving forward he has an amateur record of 4 and 0 he has a pro record of 5 and 0 he's a two time national featherweight champion his last win was against an opponent from afghanistan the flogger series 6 x sa gardens where he was able to get one of the most slickest arm bars i've seen in a while and before that at sarai fight night against osama mabu avan who is no slouch himself He got one of the best finishes according to me in Park MMA history. This guy, Rizwan Ali, undoubtedly, undoubtedly is one of the top prospects moving forward. Rizwan's going to have quite a challenge in front of him as he takes on Nasratullah Nixit, 4-0 professional fighter. He was supposed to face Jet Grand in, in the main event of Flogger Series until that event got cancelled because of Corona. So Nasratullah Nixit was already being brought in to fight an international level opponent with a very, very celebrated amateur career but now he gets Rizwan Ali who I think might just be a tougher challenge because Rizwan doesn't just come to fight he comes to finish and I really do expect fireworks in this fight and in the co-main event Sajad Ali representing team fight fortress is going to be taking on Hussein Khan representing team Pakido this is a really fun matchup as well in the amateur bantamweight division The main event of course professional the co-main event is an amateur bout I am expecting a very good fight between Sajad Ali and Hussein Khan Sajad Ali of course is a 3 and 1 amateur a PGC bronze medalist and of course a flogger grappling series silver medalist uh, Hussein Khan comes from Team Pakido and what do we know about Team Pakido they're very underrated their jiu jitsu is underrated their striking is underrated these guys are always the dark horses and according to me most of the time the favorites to win fights when because they're just so well rounded and we've seen such a good well developed martial arts game from Pakido but nonetheless doesn't matter who's going to win this is going to be an incredible fight Whew, and then the go go main event listen this fight i'm so so excited for so excited for Abu Bakr Mudir who just came back from IMF after losing effort but a good valiant effort against his Russian opponent uh in the quarter finals of the IMF World Championships is going to be taking on Abdul Manan from Cax Fight Club this fight is so interesting because these guys have already fought they've already fought in flogger grappling series they've they've grappled they haven't fought MMA against each other which is i know a completely different ball game but they have grappled and here's the surprising result Abu Bakr Munir who you think would be the favorite in a grappling competition actually lost to Abdul Banan and that's very very interesting to me because Abu Bakr and Shaheen Academy are thought to be having some of the best ground game in Pakistan and here comes Abdul Banan known as the little master this guy Abdul Banan is 4 and 0 in boxing 7 and 1 in kickboxing 4 and 0 in MMA and like i've already said he's previously tapped out uh, Abu Bakr and won gold in the flogger grappling series too so 
this is a great fight according to me i don't need to go over abu bakar's uh you know credentials 10 and 0 just competed in imf law considered to be the long-standing best amateur this country has produced one of the most experienced fighters even though he's like very young because he started when he was six or seven abu bakar has been around abu bakar is the guy who's had immense knowledge and immense growth in his game but this is a very interesting fight because if the outcome is similar to Flogger Grappling Series 2, then do we have a new top dog in the amateur circuits? I think Abu Bakr is very underrated. He's one of those guys who has all the tools. He has all the abilities to win a fight. So we're going to really have a good time watching these two guys fight. So as we move towards IMF and also as we look towards the Park MMAF organizing the national uh, tournament to decide the best amateurs in the country, more on that soon. Stay tuned on the mic. These are all very, very interesting fights that I'm very happy I'm going to get to see live and I think you should be there in case I haven't said that enough. Get a damn ticket and please come down and watch these incredible fights. There's so many more fights that I can't break down in one video. Grudge Fighting Championship has been organized by the incredible Alpha Power Couple. I'm going to call them from now on. Sorry guys. Uh, Akib Avan and Kainat Naeem Akib who uh, have put together this event primarily uh, of course to promote pocket but to give you good fights um, and they really really are putting in a lot of work with this fight the fight cards look incredible their social media game is great uh, we need more and more promotions in pakistan so uh, kudos to them and also of course hasnat khan who's helped out with the event as well major part of the organization Chezab horsi and of course irfan vizir these guys have also been working behind the scenes to make sure that you can get grudge fighting championship and of course their sponsors i want to shout them out as well for taking faith and having faith in pakistani mma and actually putting in the resources so that this event can happen add more sports the nutritionist and sportify they've done great in making sure that this event can happen and hats off to them team on the mic is going to be there like i've already said so please come on down to grudge fighting championship 26th of feb in islamabad in the g9 highlanders football stadium and i'll see you there and from me to you Keep it tight, y'all.